What's up guys, Austin Nurcho here and today we're unboxing the Geek Fuel for this month. So of course this is one of our favorite boxes so let's see what kind of cool stuff we get this month. And of course they have their new pins that we saw for the first time last month so let's see what we get this time. Um, so to start off on top we have our Geek Fuel magazine which of course we'll look at at the very end because it shows items and stuff. But it looks like we have Ready Player One stuff going on there so we'll have to look at that in a second. Then next we'll start with our shirt and it says exclusive t-shirt. And that's all it says, geek feel and everything, so let's see what we got in here. Ooh, it's a yellow shirt. But it says Captain something. I can't tell what it says. Captain Kirk. Oh, Captain Go. <laughs> that's funny. So we have Captain Kirk, of course, from Star Trek. The um, William Shatner version. That's such a weird, like, I can't hardly see it from this angle, <laughs> like, that it is Captain Kirk. Uh, then next up, we have a Ready Player One. I don't know what this is. It says Crystal Key Key Ring. So, of course, oh, it's kind of falling out of the box. But it, it was kind of open. But it so it comes in a box like this. So it says Ready Player One. It's got a picture of the key and all sorts of stuff there. Then you can just go ahead and slide it open. And we have a key. But, um, of course, uh, the game or the movie is not out yet. So I don't know exactly what this is from. But there's just a look at the key. It's just like a key ring or something. It's uh, kind of a flat. Uh, metal and neither one things. of us has read the book so yeah so I don't know exactly what this has to do with anything uh, then next up oh this is kind of cool we have just the X-Men uh, mystery minis the little Funko mystery minis I don't know why they threw this in there but it's kind of cool because I love some of these I have some back here on the um, uh, desk behind me so let's see if we get any new ones the only thing I stopped buying these because um, one, you get a lot of the same ones, but I got a Storm, which I really liked and wanted, but she was in like a flying position, so she wouldn't stand up at all, and so that just kind of made me mad, so. Oh, and we got Cyclops, which we already have. I don't know if you can even see him. Yeah, he's back there already. So we got another Cyclops, which is one of my favorite X-Men characters, because I like his outfit the most. Then next up, we got our pin. So again, it's another Pin Pals, which this I don't really care about, just because I'm not a fan of it, but it is the X-Files. And so it says, the truth is out there, and we have, what is that? Uh, Mulder. Mulder. Yeah, Mulder there. And so it looks like, of course, we had a bunch of different options back here. We could have got Mulder, Scully, of course. Then we could have got a gray alien, which was rare, limited to 500. And then we could have got the ultra rare, Richard Langley, the lone gunman. Which I know he's like one of the nerdy guys from the show. And he was out of 100. And then, of course, it's uh, we. then there's a I want to believe little square thing. So there are all the different characters there. We could have gotten, and then of course again we got another another little point thing down here like we got on the last one again. I don't know what they're for, but we have another little point this time. It's an alien one. Then next up we have our Steam game. So we did get a several games. So it's Forced Showdown. Um, so it's a Steam game. So there is a picture of it. it. Looks like you have robot looking characters and stuff. And there's some uh, more pictures of it back there. So that's our Steam game for the month, which of course I never play those because I never have time. And so that looks like that is all the items out of the box. So we'll go ahead and look at our card, which I am kind of uh, jealous by seeing this first thing. So first thing is our t-shirt, which of course we got the Captain Kirk, which to me is the funnier version of getting a Captain Kirk. But you could have also got a blue Spock shirt which I think would have been cool, so um, could have got either one of those options. Then next up we have our X-File Pin Pals, which of course we got Fox Mulder, and you could have any of the characters, but I don't really care for any of them. Then we have our Ready Player One Crystal Key. So then our next item was the Funko Mystery Mini of the X-Men. Of course we got Cyclops, which unfortunately out of all the different characters, we got the one we already have, so that kind of stinks. So there's a picture of all the different characters you could have possibly gotten out of the box there. And then, of course, our Steam game of the Force Showdown, which, again, I made no sense at all when reading it. And then our the, doing a giveaway of the Vive headset, so that'd be kind of cool because I really want a VR headset thing. So it looks like that is it for the Geek Fuel this month. So, bro, what was your favorite item out of the box? Um, I would say probably the pin. Oh, the X Files. Yeah. Figure there. Um, mine, even though I already have it, would probably be Cyclops just because I like these, but like I said, I already have it. So that's the only thing that makes it not. I was going to vote for that if we would have got yeah. something else. But. but I really like the Kirk shirt too. I may just have to wear it just to see it because I, I kind of want to wear it. Um, so that's all the items. Let's go ahead and look at our Geek Fuel real quick before we end here. Of course, see if we're in it at all. So, oh, got the Beetlejuice 30th anniversary. So that's kind of cool. Some VR stuff. Then we have our X Files pin. Our Steam game, ooh, the Geek Gift Guide. I love looking at these gift guide things because they have so many cool items that I want to get. 
out of here. Um, not really seeing much of anything in this one though. Yeah, nothing much. And then we have the pictures and I don't see us at all in any of the pictures there. Um, so that's it for the Geek Fuel this month. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the box for this month. And don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings and we'll see you next time.